Urine is formed by three processes in the nephron, the functional part of the kidney. In glomerular filtration, the glomerulus filters water and certain dissolved substances from the plasma of the blood. This results in increased blood pressure, which forces the plasma-like fluid from the blood into Bowman's capsule and then into the tubules. The fluid or filtrate include many positive and negative ions of many elements. The filtrate does not have any proteins or red blood cells, which are too large to pass through the capillary membrane. In tubular reabsorption, substances are transported out of the tubules and back into the blood of the peritubular capillaries. Reabsorption takes place in the proximal tubule, loop of Henle, and distal tubule. The major part of reabsorption occurs in the proximal tubule. About 15% of water is reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. The process is regulated by the hormones vasopressin and aldosterone. In tubular secretion, substances move from the plasma in the peritubular capillaries back into the filtrate in the renal tubules. The proximal tubule secretes creatinine and histamine, and the distal tubule and collecting duct secrete potassium into the filtrate. All the tubules actively secrete hydrogen ions to regulate the pH of the body fluids. The filtrate is now urine. Urine is about 95% water with a balanced urea, uric acid, amino acids, and electrolytes. The daily production is about 0.6 to 2.5 liters per day. Urine production below 30 milliliters per hour indicates possible kidney failure.